It's 9-12. Easter crafting is easier than you think, and there isn't much sweeter than Easter treats. Jennifer Shields with Posh Todd Events, and the Gilbert House is here with quite a few ideas for us, helping us out to get ready for Sunday. Good morning. Morning. Hey, Good to see you. glad to have you here. This looks Thank great. You. I love all Thank the you. colors. This is a lot of fun. Yeah. Okay, we're going to start on this end and then work our way down. So I see like a, a Chex mix. Yeah, so this is bunny trail mix. Mm -hmm. Super easy thing to make. Um, you can really put whatever you like in it. I found these bunny grams at the Perfect. supermarket which I thought were so cute. Um, added those with some pretzels. I've got some caramel corn, marshmallows, um, the little Cadbury mini eggs. So you have your sweet and your salty. And then they're great to put in little bags if you oh want yeah, to take perfect. classroom treats, things like that, or take home gifts. Great idea. You know what immediately caught my eye on the table was the Rice Krispie Treat yes. eggs so down everybody there. Everybody loves Rice Krispie Treats, right? But these are eggs. So we did the same method that you make Rice Krispie Treats, but then add a little food coloring and then mold them into eggs. I kind of did these free form, but you can also use the little plastic eggs, mm -hmm. uh, these guys. It's a good idea. To put them in there to get them really, really perfect. But they taste just like Rice Krispie Treats, but they're all dressed up for Easter. Very nice. Okay, this one proves you don't have to take a whole lot of time to get creative and have this, some fun. Okay, this was so easy. Did this with the kids. We went to the grocery store, got the little round cookies that come in the plastic containers, and then we got a plastic container of the Madeline cookies. We cut the Madeline's in half to make the legs of the bunny bottom. Mm -hmm. And then we used frosting to seal it together. Little tail with a marshmallow. We put um, some jelly beans. We're going to tilt yeah, this up just, just a little bit so we can coconut show you on what there we, yeah. um, to make it look like a bunny bunny fur. And then we did the same for the ears for the bunny face. So cute. And then this guy's just white frosting. And I did some yellow um, glitter, you know, sprinkles. Yeah. Eyes and a little carrot. Fun, from the nose easy. So you have a little chick. You can't beat that. Okay, yeah. what do we have in the front? Okay, so these again, super easy refrigerator dough. You can use the crescent rolls, the kind that come in the in the tube. Just roll it out, twist it. These are little bunny buns that you can put in your. Um, on your Easter table for dinner to go with your meal. And then these are little bird's nests. We just twisted them and rolled them around like a pretzel. Nice and, then, and easy. Yep. You know, I think this is neat. We're gonna move to the middle right here. That is the centerpiece for your, your dinner or your yes. lunch on Easter day. It doesn't have to be really complicated. It doesn't. And I, I kind of went on natural for this one. Um, I took two cake stands that I had at the house, flipped them upside down to give me a little bit of a bowl type of a base here. Mm -hmm. And then I used red cabbage. Um, I love that. That adds as, a cool yeah, look to it. the base. So it's kind of natural. And then we did some Easter eggs that we dyed with, again, I dyed the Easter eggs with things like beets and red cabbage. Cool. This one was done with green tea. So just stuff we had around the house, we kind of experimented to see what, um, what colors would come out. That's great. Um, and then little succulents and some um, candles. I like that. And you know, with this one, every, we're all going to have these eggs yes. around the house. So it's pretty so easy just to throw them, them in a... Yeah. So we just have a, uh, a, a regular truffle, a tri trifle dish, filled it up with these eggs, and then I just put a mason jar with some tulips right in the center. I mean, takes two mm -hmm. minutes, looks and pretty. And looks, yeah, and then nice I and just, colorful. You can accent it with maybe to have some teacups and saucers hanging around the house. Cut the tulips real small and put them in. You can kind of. It's you know. my kind of decor. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. Quick. I want to get to this because I think okay. this is really cool. This is the what is this one? The so graham bird cracker birdhouse. So you know, at Christmas, of course, we do the gingerbread houses, and the kids love doing those. Mm -hmm. So this is for Easter. We did it as a birdhouse. So I um, same kind of method with the graham crackers and the frosting to put it all together, and then we used the edible Easter grass to make little nests and put them in there. Super cute. You can add chicks or you know bunnies or whatever you want. I like that. Okay, we think of Easter. You got to have the candy, but yes. you really don't you have really to have don't. the candy yes. inside of the egg. What's inside of all so these? Some of these have money in them, um, little coins. You can put any kind of little treats in there, matchbox cars or little mini nail polishes. Things like that are a great thing to do. Five bunny hops. But this is what <laughs> I like. So this makes your, your Easter hunt a little more active. So each egg in the Easter hunt has a different uh, activity that you need to do. So five Five bunny hops. I think I've got some ninja kicks. Some jumping in there. jacks are jumping in there jacks. too. So kind of things to keep the kids active. Of course there's gonna be candy, but it doesn't have to be all candy. Right. So candy try to overload. Think outside of the candy box. I like for, that. Um, Easter eggs. I like that. Okay, if you're maybe not having to handle uh, Easter lunch at home, yes. Easter brunch, then going to someone else's house, you can take a hostess yes. gift. Bring a hostess gift and why not do it as an Easter basket? I put some um, some wine, some wine glasses, a nice chocolate bunny, that's a dark chocolate bunny, because grown-ups tend to like that a little 
little bit better than the um, than the standard ones. And then some crackers and you know whatever, just a little thank you Creative. treat. And mm -hmm. maybe if you have a young child, I, I brought the Peter uh, Rabbit. Shows that you appreciate them. Yeah. That exactly. you definitely are, are happy to be there that Easter. So exactly. some really good ideas. I mean, it's not too late for you to whip something up for Easter. And if you want more information on Jennifer Shields or the Gilbert House or any of these ideas, just click on the viewer information story on the Fox 5 Atlanta app. Jennifer, thanks for coming in today. Thanks. Definitely Thank appreciate it. Let's check in with meteorologist Joanne Feldman in the Fox 5 Storm Center. Joanne, I mm -hmm. bet you have your crafting <laughs> done for yeah, Sunday. Yeah, no, no. Check. But but now I've got my plans. So that's that's a <laughs> that's good true. thing. I'll, I'll